G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the completing the square method to solve quadratic equations. So we'll start with a nice, easy example. We have x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0, where what we're trying to do is solve for the values of x there. So very first step, what we do is we're going to have a look at the coefficient in front of our x squared value here. In this case, it's 1, and that's exactly what we want. If it's not 1, what we'd have to do is we'd have to go through and do some extra steps, uh, as you'll see in some future examples that I'll put up. But at the moment, because the uh, coefficient is equal to 1, we can just move on to the next step, where what we're going to do is group together our x values in parentheses. So we're going to rewrite our whole equation here, just grouping those values together. We have uh, open parentheses, x squared minus 6x. We're going to leave a bit of space here for working out in the next step. Uh, now what we have is we have plus 5. <laughs> We're going to leave a bit of space here. And this is equal to 0. So we've just gone through and rewritten out our equation here to set up for what we're going to do right now. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our second term here, this negative 6x. We're going to get that coefficient, this negative 6. We're going to do a couple of things to that. The very first thing is we divide it by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is equal to negative 3. Now, just a little hint, it's worth jotting this negative 3 down, and we're going to use this in a little bit just to save ourselves a bit of our thinking later on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, negative 3 here, and we square it. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 is equal to positive 9, and that is what we put in our space over here. So we have plus 9 goes in just here. Over this side, in order to keep our equation all balanced out, we have a plus 9 here, over here, we're going to put a negative 9, just to keep our equation balanced up. So we don't need this bit of working out here anymore. I'll go through and get rid of it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to simplify the equation we have. First off, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now this is a perfect square and can be simplified down as such. This is equal to x minus 3 squared. Now... Just a little hint here, if you had a jot of this little minus 3 down here, you can see that it's the same value over here. Okay, x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. And we've just gone through and simplified that down. Now we're going to simplify this next section. Plus 5 minus 9 is equal to minus 4. This is equal to 0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our minus 4 here and put it on the right-hand side of our equation. We end up with x minus 3 squared, and this is equal to not negative 4. We add 4 to this side, we add 4 to this side. This is equal to 4. Now what we do is we are going to go through and we are going to square root both sides. We're going to square root both sides nice and easy. Because first off, what we have when we square root this one here, well, the square root of this number which is being squared is just these part in the brackets here. We have x minus 3, and this is equal to the square root of 4. But it's not just that, it's plus or minus the square root of 4. We have to take both the positive and the negative value here. But what's the square root of 4? Well, that's nice and simple. This is equal to 2. So now we can just Take this a little bit further, we have two different equations that are possible. I'm going to jot them both down. So first off, we have x minus 3, x minus 3, and this is equal to positive 2. Or we have x minus 3, and this is equal to negative 2. So x minus 3 is equal to negative 2. Cool. We can now go through and solve for our x values. So x here would be equal to 5. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. x on our bottom equation would be equal to 1. 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. So these are the solutions for x for our quadratic equation. You could even go through and substitute these in and make sure they're the right value, but they are correct. So that's how you use the completing the square method to solve a quadratic equation, just using those nice simple steps. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and a big shout out to my patrons. In future videos, we are going to go through and make these a little bit more complex, obviously where we have a number that's not 1 as the coefficient here. Anyway, something to look forward to. I'll see you next time. Bye.